It's fiesta time in Mexico, and it is in Auckland at our house too, right? Yeah? Have yeah. you got a voice today? Yeah. All right, so what are we doing on this live today? Welcome on in, everybody. If you're watching this delayed, then it's good to have you. We've got lots of prizes to give away. We are making three different cocktails. So we've got a raspberry margarita. So we're going to do that three different ways. And then I'm going to show them how to make Mexican prawns hazel. So I made this a little earlier. And this one. Do you like prawns normally? No, I do not like prawns. But today I tried. And these special prawns. And guess what? I liked them. You sure did. Demolish them just about, right? So, yeah. So we're going to do Mexican prawns and it's in a sauce. You can do it in your pan. It literally, it's less than five minutes from start to finish. It's so easy. And I'm also going to show you a wicked summer dressing with Mexican prawns done into a salad. So I've got two dishes. I've got three cocktails and we should get on with it. What do you reckon? Yeah. All right. We're all set to go here. We've got all the food back here. We've got the blender ready to go. And you can win a Smeg blender okay. if you enter before the end of November 2021. All you have to do is click show more below this video. And there's a link there. And you just click the link, fill your details out to subscribe. And you're in the draw. We're also going to give away some other things. I've got a voucher to give away. So let's have a look what is in the cocktail box. Galt's Cocktails, it's the new business that I'm doing and it's just going crazy. So this is, the box turns up like this, depending on the size or how many cocktails you order. Comes in a silver box or a brown box. You can see on the front there is a picture of the raspberry margarita. The raspberry and when you open up, you can see that you've got little stickers kind of giving you an indication of what you've got. It's very sort of Prada, Gucci-like inside, isn't it? And you open it up, and here you go. I'll show you quickly. Some of, what you, some of you will have seen it. You get a folder to keep your instruction cards in. And in the instruction card, there's photographs step-by-step step of what to do. It's so easy, you don't have to add any alcohol. It's all in here, right? It's all done for you. No going a buying a bottle of this and a bottle of that. You hang on to this because you're sure to be buying another cocktail at some stage. You might want to try my pina colada. We have just launched our Christmas cherry cocktail. Wicked. I tell you, it is wicked. All right. So we'll put that aside because I don't need the instructions. And we have some good little refrigeration stuff here, all biodegradable. So here is our actual pack. And over here, I've got one of our reusable bottles, one litre, for our bag to go in. These are great if you're going camping, because you can put these in the freezer or the fridge, ready to go. So easy to put it outside in your fridge, or if you like, you can get one of the bottles. It comes with the blood oranges, which we garnish. We're going to be using those. And if we want to turn our cocktail into a sour, Comes with the bottle of aquafaba, so that's there. Comes with a lime, because we're going to need a lime. Comes with a little bit of mint for garnishing. If we decide we want to do that, that mint is out of my garden. And I've got the three salts in here, but you get to choose one. One is included in the pack. So we've got a chili lime margarita salt. We've got a tropical chili salt. And we also have a chili lime salt. So you can choose which one you'd like to have with a pack. One is included for free in the pack. So I'm going to use the lime today. The lime margarita salt. So let's get rid of this. We're going to take our time a little bit tonight because you can always come back to this YouTube channel and watch it again. If you haven't been here before, I've got loads of recipes on here. This is the first of my live cocktail photos on YouTube, but don't forget to subscribe. And as Hazel said, 
We like the like button, right? Show us the love. All right, now, I've got a jug. Let's say we're having a party. I've put a heap of ice in there. I've already put some of the blood oranges in the ice. So we could be a little bit crafty, right? If people are turning up, we could have the ice and the blood oranges in the jug, the freezer, just before they arrive. Come along with a pair of good scissors. And then we'll just literally pour the whole lot in there. And then we have a fiesta in a jug. Now I've got a little bit too much there actually for that jug. But that is one hell of a party right in a jug. Put that down in the middle of the table and you are good to go. But I've got a little bit extra here. So let's do it on the rock. So I don't know what you like. Do you like a margarita on the rocks? Do you like it straight up? Personally, I think on the rocks is really good. So I've got a container and I always like to put my chili salt, my well, this is the lime margarita salt, whatever salt I'm using, into an airtight container. This is actually liquid tight. It's one of these Tupperware numbers. They're awesome. Actually. So I'm going to put that in there because I won't use it all. And if I've got it in an airtight container, it won't absorb all the moisture and be useless the day after. We'll keep it for next time. And if you were watching my last Facebook Live movie, you would have seen I used the leftover chili salt to make popcorn. So there's the salt in there. That's the lime margarita salt. I put the whole jar in, probably didn't need to do that. I've got a lime wedge. And the first thing I'm going to do is just tip the glass upside down because I'll get less streaks running down the glass if I do that. And I've just put a little bit of lime and that's going to be great for having the salt stick to it. Now you've got to put the salt on. If you're not, if you think, oh, I don't like the salt on a margarita, trust me, it just makes it. It's just, and it makes the glass look pretty cool too. Looks like little gold crystal, little silver crystals on top of the glass, right? So now I've got this there, keep it in this air container, liquid tight for when I need it next time. Okay, need a shaker. If you don't have a shaker, then don't worry, I'm sure you've got something you serve a smoothie in. Let's get a bunch of ice in here. And let's get some ice in the glass as well. There we go. Normally I keep the glasses in the freezer because you want to serve your cocktails in a chilled glass. And I haven't today because the problem is they, they frost up and don't look on good on camera. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of this mix in here. There we go, that'll be plenty. Now I'm just going to give this a quick shake. This is just to cool it down because this has not been sitting in the fridge. But that ice will very quickly cool it down. And once you start to feel it's starting to frost up, you know it's good to go. Right? So there we go. Now you need a little strainer. So I'm sure you've got a tea strainer or something you could use. I've got one of these pretty cool ones. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so now I'm just going to just literally pour that in. And we have a marita, a raspberry one at that. Now we've sourced the raspberries from Serbia. They're one of the best places in the world to get the raspberries from. Now I've got a few fresh ones and as they're coming into season here, we could drop a couple of fresh raspberries in there. We could do the same thing into the jug if we wanted to. I've just got a couple there. Let's take out one of these blood oranges. And, you know, we could try and sit it on the side. We could pop it on top like that. I've got, just have a little go at it. A little bit like that. So I've got a couple of pieces. So you get plenty in, in the pack of blood oranges to do a whole bunch of cocktails. So I don't know what you think about that, but that looks like a pretty delicious raspberry margarita. Refreshing citrusy, all the alcohols in there. Take care, because remember, one margarita, two margaritas, 
three margaritas floor. You'll end up there, right? So take care. Okay, so there is the first one done. So we'll put that, we've got our jug over here. I'm gonna ditch this ice. Actually, you know, I've got a bit of cocktail left there. I don't wanna throw that away. Um, but I've got nowhere to pour it, so it's gonna go out. So I'll get rid of that. Oh, I don't you hate that waste. Here we go. And all good bum and hose. Have a little bit extra. So I'll see if I can pour this in here without spilling it. Ideally, I'd probably have a funnel. Probably got one here somewhere. Here we go. Let's get the funnel in here, and then this will be good for storing in the fridge, and then we can, rather than pouring it out of the bag, and you may have a bottle and don't need to buy one of these bottles off us. They're a little bit extra, but it gives you the choice of just keeping it in the bag. And remember, if you put it in the freezer and you take it out, you can just knock a piece off it and have it as a dessert from frozen. Super, super good. There we go. Okay. Bag is done. Now that could get the lid on. These bottles are reusable and you can go into the fridge. But let's make the sour, which is probably one of my more favorite ones to do. So I've got a little bit left there, so I'll use that. So we need a little bit of lime juice. I've got one of these. I'll use fresh a little bit later. And I'm gonna get about one, two tablespoons. I like a sour one, so as sour as you like it. And then we'll get plenty of ice in there. Hazel, can you just go and grab me one of the glasses over there? You know, the glass that I use for my whiskey. Can you go and grab that? Thank you. Not that I'm telling everybody that I quite like whiskey. We've got loads of cool alcohols coming for next year. Right, so I've got the lime juice. We've got some ice in there. We've got our aquafaba. I've got a bottle that's already open from the other day. There we go. Maybe just a splash more. So it's, you know, a couple of tablespoons. Oh, you like that? And this one. And I'll probably just need that one. And I might put some little salt around that too. So there we go. So we've got that glass, a little bit of salt on there, and we're done. You can do all these to the glasses before you guests arrive. It'll sit there ready, no problem at all. Okay, so now I just need some cocktail mix in there. That'll be plenty. This can now go in the fridge, and this is gonna last for weeks in the fridge, no problem at all. Now, let's get the other side of this. And let's get some fiesta going on. Oops, as I spill it everywhere. A little bit more. Do you like my new shirt? See, you just spill stuff on it. Don't you hate that? There we go. I'm going to give it just a wee bit more. About 30 seconds normally is what I like to do with this one. That'll do. Perfect. Just have a little wipe up here from those drips. There we go. Done with the lime. And then come along here. And it's just a case of. And now we've got our sour. And as it settles out, we'll get a nice little foam on top which will be great. And let's just let a blood orange slice. So these are dried, they're freeze dried, so they're crispy. But when, you, when they soak up the beautiful drink, that cocktail, they are delicious to eat. So there we go, we've got two there. Let's do a, another one, but this is probably another one of my favorites is let's get some in there. Let's get plenty of ice in here. Let's 
So probably about the same amount of ice as there is cocktail. Now we're going to get a little bit noisy. I'm going to have a little bit of a clean up. Then I'll serve that and then I'll start getting into these prawn dishes. They are super easy in the description or when you click show more under this video, the ingredients are there for the first prawn dish I'm going to do, which I think you're going to love. So don't forget, if you want to win a Smeg Blender, go to Show More, click the link, fill the details, and you could be in to win. And we'll be drawing that at the end of November. I am going to tell you how you can win. Look at that, now you've got like a slushy version. And this one definitely needs a couple of raspberries on top, right? couple of raspberries and we'll take some of that mint and we'll garnish that. Gee, I'm really loving doing this whole cocktail thing. It's, it's been, you know, Galt's Deli, which is our core business, was pretty badly hit with this whole COVID thing, not being able to supply restaurants. But now we're supplying everybody at home. And now that the backlog since we launched has gone, we are, um, you know, delivering, getting it out of the door with a maximum of 24 hours, Monday to Friday, for our deliveries. So we are getting on top of it. And there we go. I think that... So you've got a slushy version there. How good does that look? Oh, does that look good, Hazel? Yeah. All right, so we've got three cocktails here. There we go. And we've got our sour there as well. Hopefully you guys can see that. All right, and we've got our jug for our fiesta party, our barbecue table. You can give that a stir up as the ice melts in there a little bit. That can go in the fridge. And now, let's have a crack at some prawns. So, might just move these guys here. Which one do you reckon I'll be having after this? Which one do you reckon, Hazel? This one. What do you reckon? All right. Okay, I'm going to get some heat going here. I've got some prawn cutlets. I've thawed them out. It's best to let them thaw out naturally in the bag and then drain off all the water. So there is the little bit of shell left on top. Now, I kind of like to leave because especially if you're doing these on the barbecue and I'm going to do a barbecue version after this but because there's something you can hang on to them with like their own little handle but you can just pull them off like that if you don't like it and just get rid of those all but I'm going to leave them on make sure they're dry and drained of water I'm going to take a tablespoon of Mexican seasoning now the first 50 people 50 people that buy one of these raspberry margarita mixes. I am going to give you one of my Mexican fiestas in a canister. This stuff is great in burgers. If you're making, you know, using mints to make tacos, it's great in mints. You can sprinkle it over. Prawns, chicken, roast chicken, it's just genius stuff. So now I'll put the lid on. We'll give these guys a little bit of a shake up. Here we go, give them a little shake around. Not too harsh on them because we don't want to smash them. And now you can see that they're covered in our Mexican seasoning. And I have also got half a roasted pepper, which I cut up into little pieces. 
And the roasted pepper is just literally from the supermarket. It's a jar of roasted peppers like that. It's half of one of those. They're as cheap as chips. Let's get a tablespoon of, I'm using some extra virgin olive oil into a pan. You could get in there coconut oil. Now we don't want it too hot, that's getting a little bit hot. So I know that it's gonna start sizzling, can you hear it? That's what I want. So as soon as the oil is hot enough for it to sizzle, I'm gonna get those guys in there. And now make sure that each one is touching the surface of the pan, that they're not all stacked up. And then now don't stir them again at all. You can see that they're all in there like that. Let's just, don't need to stir them or prod them or turn them. Now there's still a little bit of mixture left in there, so I'm gonna get half a cup of white wine. Half a cup of white wine. You're gonna love the salad dressing for summer that I'm gonna be showing you shortly. That's, I reckon that's probably about half a cup of white wine in there. Hazel, like you're probably driving everybody nuts in that. So just give that a mix up so I can get all the rest of those great Mexican seasoning there out. And remember, first 50 people that order the raspberry margarita, we, I will send you in your pack one of those Mexican fiestas, one of these. It'll change your barbecue. Now you want to give these guys about a minute before you turn them. And whilst we're doing that, I'm going to get a little bit of uh, hot water. I'm going to get a quarter of a cup of hot water. Just got some hot coffee. I'll go get a good jug. I love jugs that actually pour properly. These jugs are just genius. You have so many jugs and you pour it out and it just goes everywhere. So I'm going to get a quarter of a cup of hot water. There we go. I'm going to put just a little bit of chicken stock. This is my concentrate. You know, you could use that other stuff if you want, but I like to use the real deal. So it's just a little bit of the concentrate in there. That'll do. This is going to really give it some good flavour. And I think those prawns are being close enough to a minute, so just give that a little stir up like that. There we go. Now we'll turn the prawns. Oh, the smell in here is so good. So good. Now my Mexican seasoning is a little bit spicy, but you know, Hazel told you before that she liked them today, and they were a little bit spicy, weren't they, Hazel? But they're not hot, so hot that she can't handle them, and she doesn't like spicy. So I just turned them over. They've got a little bit of colour on there. You can see that. We'll give them about 20 seconds. When prawns are opaque in the middle, they're cooked, right? But we don't really want to cut into them. The bigger the prawn, the longer they're going to take, right? But, with, you know, you get to know, and you can always take it out and cut it in half. Once it's opaque all the way through, you're good to go. Now, what did I do with the white wine? I put it in the air, didn't I? So now that can go in there. There we go. That's what we like to see. Now, give it a little shush around. Now I will put that roasted pepper in, the little pieces. See, the little tiny pieces. I've just cut them up. I've got, there are a few seeds in there, so we'll get those in there. That's going to add that lovely peppery, bell pepper flavour, which Mexican food is synonymous with. And I'll get the chicken stock in there now. All right, now I've got a, a zest, some lemon zest. This is a cool zester. Get yourself a good zester. You can use a zester like this one over here, if you can see that. So I'm going to put like probably half the zest of a lime in there. And it just catches it in the in there. So I just get that in there. And just get that out. Because the oil is going to come out of that lemon and be just delicious. Alright, they are pretty much ready. But we need to get just a little bit of um, lemon, ju lime juice in there. So just about half a lime, about a tablespoon of lime in there. We want a little bit of citrusy going on. These are going to match so well with our margaritas, I tell you what. 
Now, it's almost starting to look creamy. I don't know if you can see, the sauce is a little bit runny at the moment. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the heat up nice and high. Let's turn down here. Whoops, I've done something wrong. Let's start again. I want, I want it really bubbling. I've got one tablespoon of butter. It's just one tablespoon. It doesn't have to be soft, but if it's hard, cut it into little tiny pieces. Just one tablespoon, and it's really bubbling away here. I wonder if I can just quickly show you. It's re really bubbling. Now I'm just going to drop the butter in here in the place. And what's going to happen is the butter is going to emulsify the sauce. And it will th literally thicken the sauce up and give the feeling that it's creamy. So we just let it, when the butter is almost dissolved, that is when we can literally go, okay, happy days. Let's give the pan a shuffle and the last of the butter melts in there. And now you're done. It's as simple as that. And if you look here, I'll get a ladle here to show you, but it's a creamy sauce now. I'm gonna plate these up. I've got a little plate. So this is enough for four people here. So, you know, these are, this is just a small entree while you're having your delicious raspberry margarita. There we go. Now, I'm going to take some of the sauce and some of the peppers and I'm going to put that over the top. Quite, there's plenty of sauce because this is what is going to make this absolutely delicious is the sauce. Now, I got these from the uh, supermarket today. Whoops, I, took, I plucked them in there. There we go. So I've, that, these were just available at the supermarket. I thought I'll buy one of these. There's a snow pea sprout there, and I've got some other little sexy microgreens here, different flavors. And we've got a really delicious little entree, little prawn entree with our margarita. And of course, the sauce is just gonna be epic, so you need a bowl of bread. I've just got some wedges because trust me everybody is going to want to dip into this sauce i wonder if i can get it so you can see it not really maybe if i maybe if i put it up on there move a bit of stuff now i want to show you a salad and get rid of the cocktails over here for a moment let's move on and do a salad we might keep these guys we'll use a few of those okay I have got some cucumber, I've got some lettuce, so a little bit, I've got some lettuce in here, just good old standard iceberg, right? Good old standard iceberg. Half a cucumber left over, got a potato peeler, and there's the other half of the pepper, bell pepper, that roasted one. So I'm just going to put that in a bowl. There we go and I am going to make a dressing. So I've just got a little jar, I'm going to get a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I prefer mustard, you could use Coleman's mustard, but it'll be just that little bit more powerful. Now I'm going to put about 50 mils of our cream margarita mix in here. Honestly, this is genius, this dressing. Last in the fridge for a few days. One, that's 50 mils. Now I am going to put in just about that of extra virgin olive oil. There we go. I'll just give it a little bit of a mix around just to get that Dijon combined there. I mean, it just doesn't get any easier than this. And it's really gonna be something different. I mean, you know, we've all probably had a raspberry dressing before, right? But this is a raspberry margarita dressing. 
And we're going to shake it like a barman again. Here you go. Give it a good shake. And now you've got this lovely creamy dressing. Oh, it's, it's, I wonder if I can show you just how creamy it is. It is just, look at that. It's like creamy. So good. 